Even think, Barb and Paul, we can even imagine the pressure this 19 year old is under right now. The Japanese fans want a world champion today, and she wants to be the champion. She was in second place after the short four points out of the lead. But more importantly, she's six points. She has a six point lead ahead of Asada after the short program, and she knows what Asada has done and she knows what she's got to do. Be interesting to see if she goes for that quad sal. But first she has to put down a solid triple triple here. Triple lots, triple, triple out. out. The next planned jump is the quad sal. And she has not landed this since she was a junior skater. But she was landing them today in practice. Looking cautious, which means she's likely going to go for it. No, triple. The third jump in this opening sequence is a triple flip. herself here. She had a little bobble there on the spiral sequence. She looked loose in practice. Second triple Lutz scheduled here. Difficult combination here. Triple flip, double loop. The program has an element of cautiousness about it, but she's getting it done. I think she'd be better served if she could just let the program breathe and let it grow here. She knows, Paul, at this point, she's got all the jump elements done. She can let this fly now. The bar. Both the performance of Asada and now this performance of Mickey Ando have been very, very good. I think we're looking at a situation where it could be the performance of the short program, the lead that Ando had after the short that could be the difference here, because this, these are two exquisitely skated performances. One more reason for this crowd to get to their feet. This performance didn't have the impact that Mao Asadas did, and I think that's because she was a little cautious in her delivery. She just got every 
jump, tick them off one by one by one. Well, the Japanese will get their world champion, but which one will it be? This woman, Miki Ondo, or Mao Asada? We'll have the scores for Miki Ondo when we return to Tokyo. Here in Tokyo, I cannot imagine the pressure this woman was under prior to this performance. But she comes out, maybe a little cautious, but boy, she delivers a program worthy of a world championship title. Japan's Miki Ando will need a score of 126.48 to move into first place ahead of her Japanese teammate Mao Asada. That will be a new personal best for her. Well, there's no doubt, I don't think, from anyone's perspective here in the building, that the performance of this competition was that of Mao Asada's. This was an excellent skate. Asada's was the best performance. So the score that she needs is 126.48 to be the 2007 world champion. And this crowd just holding its breath. Both of these skaters, extremely popular in the country. Everywhere you go, you see their pictures. And for them both to come up so big is just amazing. Technical element score, around 68 points. Now the program component score. Program component score. A little below 60, so that will be the second best free skate of the night, but we'll give Miki Ando the championship here at home in Tokyo. She is the 2007 world champion. That is the personal best total score for her, and there she is with her choreographer and coach, Nikolai Morozov. And what an amazing accomplishment for Morozov. He choreographs the program that puts Suzuka to the top of the Olympic podium. And here, 12 months later, does it again by putting Mickey Ando to the top of the World Championship podium. And Barb and Paul, this is the first time in history that two Japanese women have been on the podium together. And to be able to come through with all of the pressure here of competing at home and do it in Tokyo is amazing. Well, it's not like this pressure on these women just showed up yesterday. This pressure has been on these women for the entire season. Since the very first Grand Prix that was held back here in the fall at NHK, the media has been chasing these women around the world, not just here in Japan. <laughs> I can remember going to the Skate America competition last fall, and the Japanese media outnumbered everybody three to one. So here's a look at the standings after the women's competition. Miki Ando of Japan in first place. Mao Asada of Japan in second and Korea's Yuna Kim in third place. Joanny Rochette is 10th and Mira Leung 24th.